So we're going to go on like a t like this route around this area. So we're going to first go like between the farms and then we'll go to the seaside. Right now is we're in the Northern Ireland countryside and it's really cool. Wow. Oh, there are so many. There's only like one black and white. I don't care. So, first of all, countryside, you're not beautiful enough for me. I am cooler, too. My sister said there's a bee. I'm not afraid of bees. Three, I don't have a third excuse. Bye. Actually, look, you can look at the... I found my first, furthest excuse. Three, there's too much poop on the ground. Four, I still haven't seen any roosters or hens. Five, there's only one crow. Come on, do better than that. So I was watching the TV once and I saw that the woman that was making the food, she, she said, I have a recipe for every single one of them. Yeah, and she was like, they were like tiny little ones and this one looks tasty. <laughs> and I, they look so delicious and I'm like, really? Like, yeah, kids are watching this probably. Yeah. With their families. <laughs> Guys, get down. I see something big. I think we now entered the prehistoric zone. Look at how big the leaves are in the trees. Look, look. We better not. A prehistoric dinosaur might have touched my sister. And, and also, this plant, we shall not touch it. Yeah. Someone or something tried to cut these really sharp leaves. You can see some spikes there. They're probably dangerous and poisonous. Right now I saw there a, a white bird, white birds, not pigeons, not pigeons. They are pterodons. They were poisoned by that magic plant of whatever sorts of thing there. Oh no, look, something big must have been here. Right now we entered the danger zone. You hear that? That is a swinging tail. We might be lucky and see some footsteps. If we are lucky, we have proof. So right now, I just stumbled across this bunch. You can see the, the stick, the, the tail being dragged. So, okay, you see there's no footprints here. Well, you see here there's a mark. And I guess it was like a baby or it was like a size of a medium because here's another one. See, proof. And it was walking all the way. I think it was a stegosaur with the rock tail. I think that was the name. How are we supposed to go? 
So I was looking hard and I finally stumbled across this. These aren't poisonous, but they're not really for eating for humans, that is. But you can see that a dinosaur stuck its mouth inside to try to eat some. But as you can see, th the thorns were protecting it from the dinosaurs. We're on the sea and we're looking and we're seeing the sea. And we want to see the sea. I call this an Arcadia. Oh. And as you can see, it starts out like, uh, okay, for example, let's take this as an example. It starts as this, slightly opens, and then it becomes bigger and bigger and spreads out bigger. And then it turns and dries out like this. Right now, as you can see poorly, this is someone's house. They tried to escape with their car or van, whatever that is. As you can see, it's ruined. And if you look inside, there are some plants. And over there, you can see some dinosaur was swinging around and broke the window there. anything with the dinosaurs but as you can see this is the size of my hand and it and it is the size of a nail of a dinosaur and plus here a lot of so it happens to be a home of a megalodon a megalodon is like probably half the size of this place It all came off in one swipe, so we're doing this thing where we throw each other like that cotton thing in our hair. And it doesn't work for my dad because his hair is too long. And with one swipe, it all comes out. So we'll probably go here one day, but it's called Bell. Something escaped from the danger zone. 
we passed here before. It's really huge, I know. This is the size of a jaguar, but it's not. There's something like a boar, prehistoric boar. That's, that's probably what it is.